Hello. Today we'll be talking about a very prestigious program in statistics, which is the Master of Statistics program and offered by the Indian Statistical Institute. We'll be talking about the scope, the eligibility, the selection procedure, the number of seats and the stipends associated with this very program. But this entire information has been compiled by Sources Classes, which is a very premier institution in India and which deals with majorly imparting quality training to prospective students who wish to get into the prestigious statistics programs in India, namely the IIT JAM, Mathematical Statistics Exam, the ISI MSTAT program, ISI BSTAT program, and also other programs from various prestigious institutes all over India. So this is all about Sobsus classes. Let us now, now let us focus, shift our focus into understanding more about the ISI Master of Statistics program. Let us get into it. Let us talk about the scope of this Master of Statistics program. Now this Master of Statistics program is basically a two-year degree program which focuses on imparting advanced level training in statistics. There's a major focus. Uh, you can get into statistics, into computer science, theoretical computer science, and various other, various other fields after, the, after going through this statistics program. There's a special focus on the quantitative methods associated with this very program, and with statistics in general. And this program is currently offered at the ISI Kolkata campus. Now let us talk about the various career prospects which is available to a prospective MSTAT student. So after the completion of the program, most of the students can go for an academic career. So in this academic career, they can go for PhD from good colleges not only in India but also in prestigious colleges all over the world. The as per research, uh, as per the reports that uh, we have compiled or what we have come to know, most of the people and associated with going to for an academic uh, career, they are major focus of research research areas are that in statistics, in mathematics. Most of them also go for research in economics, computer science, and also any other related fields with all those interdisciplinary fields having all these disciplines in the mind. Apart from that, most of them also go as to work as statisticians in private and public sector organizations. And talking about public sector organizations, you must have heard about the central statistical central statistical organization or the CSO. So here, most of you are um, people, from, prospective graduates from the MSTAT program, can go for this very institute. And also, there is the ISS program, which is the Indian Statistical Service. So you can go through for apply appear for this ISS Indian Statistical Service exam, which is conducted by the UPSC and try to get into this organization as in this service as well. It's a very prestigious service and almost considered equivalent to the IES and the IFS roles. And talking about jobs in particular. In the recent days with the advent of the big data and data analytics, data analytics and allied fields have emerged as a very, very interesting area for statisticians, statisticians to work in. It has been it has been observed that uh, companies usually say data analytics companies usually say that they are very uh, they want to hire each and every one of the ISI and MC students, but there is a very limited number of the students, and the industry is not able to get um, not able. They are always in dire need. The demand for data analytics for our, the demand for analytics students or statistics students is very high from ISI, but the supply is very low. As you know, there are very less amount of seats are available. So industries are not very. Um, apprehensive about the fact but nevertheless from that fact works in your favor and as you can see that will also help you in getting your very high paying jobs in this field so normally students normally in these current years are able to secure a 15 to 17 lpa packages lakhs per annum packages in average so this is a very important very interesting field to work in and a high paying field as well Let's talk about the eligibility criteria. Now, who can appear for ISI MSTAT? 
Now, for ICM study, you basically need to have a bachelor's degree or even a bachelor's BE or BTEC degree, but you need to have statistics as a subject. And also, there are applicants from ISI who have a BMAT degree, even they are eligible to sit for the MSTAT exam. And also, there is another program which is offered by the Indian Statistical Institute that is the Postgraduate Diploma in Statistical Methods and Analysis. So, applicants who have already completed this program, this program is uh, usually offered in the um, ISI Tajpur campus. So, after you are done with this program, those students can directly ap appear for the ISI MSTAT examination. ISI MSTAT program, they can appear for that. Now, let's talk about the seat distribution. Now, this seat MSTAT program is offered in the Kolkata campus. You have 30 seats in total, of which 15 is for the general category, 8 for the OBC and CL students, 5 for the S. C students and two seats are earmarked for the ST students. Now, this 30 seats is exclusive of the other seats which are available for students from ISI, ISI BSTAT and BMAT students who directly get admitted to this program without the need of any examination. And talking about the selection criteria, since the seats are very limited as with all other courses from ISI, competition is very fierce. Now, talking about selection criteria, students who have a BSTAT honors degree from ISI, they get direct admission to this program. There is no selection test or interview. For all other eligible candidates, even the candidates who have BSTAT degree from ISI, but that is only the general degree or the past degree, they also they have to give a written test and a subsequent interview and based on the performance on those two, they are taken into the program. Now talking about the written test. Now this written test comprises of question on both statistics and mathematics and the level of difficulty is mostly at the undergraduate level and the question pattern is mostly multiple choice and short answer types. In the part A, in the first part of the question you have multiple choice questions and in the part B you have descriptive choice, descriptive questions from both mathematics and statistics. Now let's talk about the stipend. So as you know, there is no stipend, no tuition fees associated with any course in um, any course uh, offered in ISI. You are also given a stipend of 5,000 rupees per month. Over and above, you also get a contingency grant of 5,000 rupees per year. So this is the financial stuff associated with this very program. So I hope the information that we have provided over here is uh, has been of use to you and will further motivate you to appear, work hard and try to get into this prestigious statistics program which is offered by the Indian Statistics Institute, Indian Statistical Institute. So this is the uh, thing and if you have any, um, you need more clarification or more information regarding the scene then you can comment in the comment section below and we'll try to reach out to you and help you as much as possible. Thank you very much.